Hey, I'm Jason Ritchie, and I'm back with a long overdue another harmonica lesson for you here. This one's called Rhythm Harmonica Playing. I sort of have one on this subject, but uh, I'm going to give you a new one now because this one is focused just on chugging on the inhale only and how you do that. Okay, so first of all, when I talk about chugging, what do I mean by that? <clears throat> I'm, I'm talking about this kind of thing, the train kind of sound. So what am I doing? Okay. Most of the time when you hear people chugging, they're playing in, inhaling in and out on holes one, two, and three. The chord and most of the time what you hear people doing is Now you heard two different distinct styles of chugging there. Let me first explain that. So you have holes one, two, three. Singular or together. It's a very nice sounding thing. It's one of the great things about our instrument is it does that. Okay, so check it out. You can play these notes with a big sound. How do you get that big sound? By inhaling deep into your stomach. Okay, or you can play them with a thinner sound. And I get that by inhaling more from up here and lowering my jaw. So the first one I'm going, inhaling deep into my chest and making sure my jaw is nice and low. The second one, I'm inhaling more from my throat, my top of my area right up here. And I'm also making my mouth thinner, my jaws closer to the heart. That's two, here's one. Now, a lot of people talk about big tone, and big tone is obviously harder to get, but that doesn't mean that thin tone doesn't have its place, it does. Now, sometimes, like, just on a side note real quick, I could play two draw. With a big tone, but sometimes it's cool to play it with a thin tone. Or... Again, I'm getting most of this difference by lowering my jaw and, and making my jaw higher or tightening up my jaw or, or loosening it and then where I'm breathing from. Am I breathing mostly from up in my throat or from down in my stomach? So this is a big part to the chugging thing because you're going to find it difficult to get these inhale chugs sounding rhythmic if you're not using your tongue and you're not kind of getting that thin slap which, I, you know, I associate it with a snare drum. This kind of sounds like a snare drum to me. So. so how am I doing it? I'm making a ta-ta sound. <clears throat> what does that mean? I'm literally saying the words ta-ta, 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 except inhaling. So my tongue is hitting my two front teeth. Now I actually put the instrument itself on my teeth. I can feel the, the little edges of the reed plates. Now you might notice that, see it kind of looks like I'm kissing the harmonica. There's two things going on there. I'm shortening the chord from three notes down to one and I'm using my tongue to give that a slap and I'm kind of pulling it away to get that sharp sound and I'm exhaling okay in between beats
cool thing about this exhale, now when I do it fast, you can't really see it. A lot of that exhale is sometimes coming out of my nose. But you can also hear a little slap. It's all inhale. By exhaling, I can go on continuously because I'm constantly getting rid of as much air as I'm getting in. So there's no exhaling. I'm not doing... If you hear that one, two, and three chord on the blow come into it, you're not doing this particular exercise the, the way I'm asking. You don't want that. You just want to... So you're saying ta-ta, then exhaling, then ta-ta then exhaling, then ta-ta, then exhaling. And now I do a longer one, which is more like a ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. You don't have to do that. The reason I do that one is it kind of is a time marker. I do that and then there's a certain amount more I do so I can go. Otherwise, I can get lost if I just go. But that's also very cool. Getting lost doing this is really fun. So now you, hopefully you're kind of, you've paused the video and you've practiced it and you've realized that you can do it slowly, okay? You may, have to practice getting the tongue thing. A lot of guys try to do this. You're just not getting your tongue on and you're not making your tone thin enough. Remember, I'm kind of sliding my mouth off the harp here and, and using my, and remember I'm putting it actually against my teeth and then kind of pushing it away from my teeth with my lips. I'm just kind of kissing it, kind of turning into a little smooch. I actually make a kissing noise sometimes. I go, I'm just kissing. Harmonica makes lots of weird noises. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Now, I don't just use this technique on train stuff. I use it all the time when I'm playing. Now, the technique I'm talking about, of course, is the exhale. used to do that all the time. And it's very difficult for me to teach you. It's actually even very difficult for me to show it to you because I kind of don't know when I'm going to do it and when I don't. All I know is that when I really get it going on, it's almost like an extra beat in there <clears throat> that makes it really cool. There's this one tune I play that I know that I can do it on every time. I had this version of Low Rider that I kind of came up with when I was playing on the streets in New Orleans. And it goes like this, you know, I'm going. Now, did you hear that? The first lick, I'm going. I'm exaggerating. But when I don't exaggerate, it just comes off like a big old pop. Every time
and you hear that little snare hat hit, what that is is me going pow, pow. Now I actually make like a pow sound. I could make another noise. I could, if I wanted to, all I'm doing is getting rid of air lag. I could do like a little uh, 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 uh. And you, you hear guys making these noises and shit. And there's a reason for it. I mean, sometimes it's just a thing to do. Well, you know, you got your whooping too, you know. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. Now, I, I do my whooping on the inhale. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Meaning I'm going, whoop, whoop, whoop. Inhaling. That's just me. So I don't want to get in. Whooping's another video. And, and it took me forever to learn how to whoop, okay? <laughs> All right. So back to the thing. So it's just a way to exhale without playing a note that you maybe don't want in your music. You know, instead of just blowing out and getting the two blow, like say you're just playing regular cross art, and you run out of air, instead of playing or some note that maybe doesn't fit in melodically, or maybe it's just some note that you, just, that you don't want to play, you can just And it sounds cool. It gives you a little extra, um, little stab there. Okay, so let's just go back to the, the exercise and review one more time. So I'm just saying ta-ta, exhale, ta-ta, exhale, ta-ta, ta-ta on the inhale, and then simply an exhale. Some guys, I've heard Peter Madcat Ruth, who I love for this kind of stuff, and Wade Schumann from Hazmat Modine actually make a shh, a little shh. Now you can actually make the shh sound and blow into the harp. But really what I'm doing is just... trying to say hi how are you doing it's, it's hard that would be a new cool thing to do is if you could just make sentences and play train stuff at the same time I don't think that's been done yet that's your mission so anyway now the cool thing about this is I have just the the, the pure cross harp chord here so when I start adding cool cross harp licks it sounds good whether I'm playing those major pentatonic or minor pentatonic or otherwise Hold on, I gotta do something here. The computer just acted up on me. Okay. More pentatonic. Anyway, you get the idea. I hope you had fun. I had a great time. And um, if you want another lesson on this, just hit me up on the bottom and we'll talk about it. Thanks. Bye.